Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. My name is Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And today we're going to talk about how your vowels can make or break your singing. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss any of my lives that I do on Wednesdays. And if you really like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That way it tells other people about it and it just really helps my videos in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, without further ado, let's talk about vowels. So in order to talk about vowels, we have to talk a little bit about resonance. When we create sound using our vocal folds, the sound then comes up into our pharynx, which is the space right above our larynx, but right before our mouth opening, and it starts vibrating. Then the sound comes up into our nasopharynx, vibrates there, and also comes into our mouth, vibrates in our mouth, and then comes out of our mouth, right? So our three primary resonators are our pharynx, our nasopharynx, and our mouth. Now, in my opinion, and in most teachers' opinions, the mouth is still the most important of the three primary resonators because the mouth is the last place that the sound has access to before it exits our body and enters the real world. So when we sing, we have to pay extremely close attention to what's going on in our mouth. And when we speak and when we uh, use lyrics to convey our message of the music, we inevitably have to shape our mouth into different ways and shapes to create the vowel sounds. Now, most, uh, especially English speakers, think about words based on what consonants are used at the beginning and the end of the word or in the middle of the word to kind of shape the word. But as singers, we have to take a step back from that way of thinking and we really have to look at what vowels are we singing and how are we going to refine those vowels to give us our best possible sound. So the main vowels that we sing on, especially in English, are E, A, A, O, and U. And so these vowels need to be meticulously trained into your body so that when you go to sing, you are actually singing on the right vowel. Now, if you know how people speak, a lot of us aren't really thinking about the vowels, right? We're thinking about getting through the word and getting through our sentence. But when we sing, we legitimately sing on vowels, right? Consonants, by definition, stop the air. And when we're on vowels, we can sing through the vowel. Now, yes, there are a couple consonants that can be vocalized, but we don't, we're not talking about those right now because even though they're vocalized, we still close our mouth to say them like V, V, right? Are my teeth are together. What happens if you're singing on not properly formed vowels? Well, for one, your sound cannot possibly be as resonant because perhaps your mouth is closed, perhaps you have some tongue tension, perhaps your sound just isn't being allowed to vibrate the way it should be. Now let me give you an example of this with the ah vowel. In English, a lot of times our ah vowel either goes two ways. It can go to more of an ah or it can go to more of an ah. Right? Now, neither of those are actually the ah vowel. There are two variations of the ah vowel. One is way brighter, meaning that it's like right up here and it's the cat sound, right? And one of them is ah, which is way back, which, which is when I'm pushing my tongue back into the back of my throat. And I'm really more saying like an A-W sound. Now, what happens when I'm singing, listen to find out. Middle is ah, bright is ah, dark is oh, whoa. I didn't do anything different with my breath or my support. All I did was move, move my mouth around to have that vastly, vastly different sound, right? And I could do the same example on any of the other four vowels as well. So really where you're placing your vowels 
is so, so, so important. And especially because there's five of them, we really need to work on the details of this. Now, I wanted to tell you guys your opportunity to really work on your vowel shapes with me. This month in my monthly membership site called Total Vocal Transformation, we are focusing totally on vowels. So we're going to have different exercises and videos that I show you exactly how to find your, cre your correct vowel shape and how to practice on the correct vowel shape. Now this is something that a lot of my students has been asking me for, so I figured what a better time. You know, we did intonation in the group for September, and now for October, we're going to be doing vowel shapes. Now you really, really, really do not wanna miss this if you feel like you're having problems with your vowels. But let me tell you guys, a lot of you probably don't even know that you're having trouble with your vowels because you identify it as a different symptom, right? So let me tell you some of the other symptoms of having poor vowel shapes. One is having a very quiet sound that you cannot hear or you cannot distinguish what you're actually saying when you're singing. Two is feeling a lot of tension right here. And that tension is coming from your tongue, trying to help you create the vowels back here instead of up here, right? The third thing, the symptom that you might be facing because of your vowel shapes is a very nasally sound, right? How nasally did I sound when I was singing ah instead of ah, right? So that very nasally sound is one of the symptoms and I'll add a fourth. The fourth symptom of poor vowel shape is a cloudy, overly darkened sound. So that would be the oh or oh, right? I mean, that doesn't even sound like me, you guys. <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of it though. So if you want to join my new membership site, Total Vocal Transformation, the doors are now open for October membership and I'm going to throw the link in the description so that you could go check it out for yourself and see all of the other benefits that you get in addition to our monthly course. My favorite benefit, of course, is my monthly recording review of you. So yes, you send me a recording of yourself singing every month and I send you back suggestions, comments, constructive criticism, and anything else that I hear to help you better improve your singing. So that's the one-on-one -on -one support that I give each and every one of my students in the course, as well as you get access to my other two vocal courses, Belting, the Belting Lab, and Starter Singing Lab, which really gets you going on your singing journey if you're a beginner. So don't ignore this problem that you've been having. It's time to solve it because when you solve your vowel shapes, a lot of other things will get out of the way and your voice will start to really, really align. Okay, so I hope to see you inside of Total Vocal Transformation and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much.